Hello and welcome to another video with me Andrea and baby Everest. I just finished a workout so my face is a little gross, red and blotchy and such but c'est la vie, she makes up for it and I posted that workout on my other fitness channel and I'll link that in the comments section. Anyway, I wanted to film a video today about postpartum and some of the things that happen that are less than fun. So the first thing I wanted to talk about was hair loss. Um, I have no idea how there is still head, hair on my head. Like I have no idea because it is falling out like nobody's business. And no, this has nothing to do with me being a vegan. This is perfectly normal for postpartum women. <laughs> But it still sucks. Like when you go to brush your hair, like you look at your hairbrush and you're like, how can this much hair be falling out? And you're finding it all over your kid. You're like, I'm like a shedding cat, essentially. So that has been an adjustment. I'm used to having like a little bit more hair and it's just thinning and kind of just um, falling out. <laughs> so that's not been fun. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about was delayed baby blues. It's so great how baby blues and postpartum depression are getting more and more recognized in society and people are starting to realize how significant and serious it is. And it's slow, you know, people still don't really show women in their postpartum period the sympathy and the um, understanding that they really do need because it is so hard and we're all going through so much hormonal shifts and it's um it's after the first three months people kind of just act like okay well like you should be good now right well i didn't get my baby blues until around two and a half three months and it hit me pretty hard. Um, I thought I was in the clear. I um, suffered from anxiety and depression. So I was pretty like on guard about postpartum. I was worried that it was going to be something I'd struggle with. So I was um, expecting it. And when it didn't happen, I was very happy. <laughs> You're blowing spit bubbles. Um, but then around two and a half, three months, I really started feeling down and I felt just like, I felt like I was totally out of control, uh, which I am. <laughs> and I felt, um, like I was alone and isolated and I wasn't able to enjoy my time with her as much. And that, that just made it worse. Like, I would tell my husband that I was struggling, and his response would be like, well, what do you really have to be upset about? We've got this, like, beautiful baby girl. We've got this beautiful home. Um, all these things for you to be grateful for. And it just made me feel worse. And I'd explain that to him. I'd be like, I know. I know I should feel amazing, but I don't. And that makes it even harder and you feel oh. mad at yourself for being sad all the time. Oh. You're like, why are you sad? You know, it's just oh. hormones are so, so powerful. And you can't control those deep hormonal okay. fluxes. Oh. Do you want this video to be... Do you want to talk on this video? <laughs> oh, no grumps. Mm -hmm. oh. She wants to talk. Anyway, so those delayed baby blues were really tough on me, and um, I felt really alone during that time, and I feel slowly like I'm coming out of it, but it's, it's you know, it's still slow. Like, I just feel still quite, quite down a lot of the time, but I'm just trying to, you know... Um, do it one day at a time and just really not be so hard on myself. Hey! Hey! What's wrong, my goose? No sadness. Look at these smiles. No sadness. She just wants attention. Oh, 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 oh. The other thing that I've been having, which reminds me of my first trimester, is like 
super vivid dreams. And I think it comes with like not sleeping as much. But I, oh, hold on, hold on. you've got a very strong hold on me. But I have the most intense dreams and they're super sexual, which is like they were in the first trimester, which is so weird. And my husband gets mad because I, I tell him that I dream cheated on him. And uh, when he dream cheats on me, when he, I have a dream where he cheats on me, I always wake up in a terrible mood. So I, I tell him, oh, I cheated on you in my dream last night. And it, they're so random and just like the weirdest dreams. And I wasn't expecting those. Um, what else? Um, I had acne on my forearm, all on my forearm and on my thighs. And that has just started to go away. But it was bad. Like it was like little white heads, like all over my forearm and all over my thighs, which is just so weird. Oh, oh, oh. So yeah, losing hair, acne on my arms, on my forearms, um, delayed baby blues, weird sex dreams. Anything else? I don't think so that I can think of. But anyway, you know, the postpartum stage is tough and we all just need to stick together and we all just need to be in a good moods for mommy. Yeah. <laughs> I am very cute. I am very cute. So that's our video for today. And if you had any like postpartum experiences that you'd want to share, please comment on what your experience was. And if you liked today's video, um, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Oh, and I'm going to go give this grump some snuggles. Bye, guys.